predicted this final four. I know I would have never called this. There are some of my top girls who are in the final four, but I would have thought it would have been a completely different final four from the way the ladies performed for the first like three weeks of the competition. So this just goes to show you just like Drag Race, you never know what's going to go on in this show. They're always going to throw in a twist to throw us off. Oh, and before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that I put up, um, if you follow me on Instagram, which I'm going to put like right here, follow us sister. Um, I post like little clips of my reviews so that, you know, just get some more traction. So people who are not on YouTube can, you know, just see what I'm doing here and, you know, maybe like and comment or subscribe, you know, whatever. I just like to advertise it to, uh, to different audiences who are not here on YouTube. So anyway, I put up my little clip and Christiana actually saw the clip of the, um, my last America's Next Top Model review and she liked it and she put like some smiley faces or whatever. And that was a cute little moment. Like I have interacted with a few girls uh, last season who watched my reviews and it's just nice to know that people who um, are on the shows that I'm reviewing appreciates what I'm doing here. So shout out to Christiana girl. I hope you take it home. We are all rooting for you. Jean is gone and nobody has said, not even Rio, who said that she now feels like she has a chance now that Gina is gone. I told you Gina, you was her flunky the whole time. Stay woke sis. Stay woke. <laughs> so this bubble wrap runway challenge or bubble wrap, bubble in a bubble walking the runway challenge. I hated it. Um, on the season that it was on because I just didn't feel like it was fair to put models in a situation that the top models of, of the show weren't even able to do. Because even if you see this clip of Stacey walking down, we only get like a few seconds. Then we see her walking back on a runway, on the back runway that's a lot fuller. It just doesn't seem fair. And I feel like they just throw it in there to just get rid of somebody. It seems very, very difficult. And it's not something that you've really seen top models do because I haven't seen this on any kind of runway. Not saying that I'm like, you know, the Black Vogue, but I am. But I'm just saying, like, I just feel like it's, it's unfair. I feel like the cards are decked against the lady. I don't know, for me, when I saw Stacey struggling to do it, I was just like, so how do you expect these girls to do it? Anyway, I am excited about the comeback. Oh, I saw my girl Cora. She was so excited. Everybody looked good. I feel like they don't send them home. I think they send them to a hotel to chill for a while until the season is over. And I do, you know what? Matter of fact, I think that is what they do because for a lot of these competitions, they don't want the girls to go home because then it'll show who like got eliminated. So it, it'll let people know who got eliminated at what time if they come home too early. I don't think that any of them really left and it seemed like they all got better. All of them had stellar walks, even Gina. Let me tell you something, homegirl came to play. When she walked down that runway, she ain't make eye contact with nobody but the winning prize at the end. I was just like, you know what, Gina, you got on my nerves, but that walk was sickening, sis. You got that one. You got that one. I hope Cora can pull it through, but Gina looked like she's coming back to get her final position in this competition. I'm nervous. I really want Cora, but Gina looked sickening. I gotta be honest. So there's already tension between Rio and Gina because this is the thing. It happens all the time with awful people. <laughs> They become friends through like being awful. And then when there's nobody around them to be awful to, they start to turn on each other. And it shows that they really didn't have like a real friendship besides being catty and kind of like clicking up and being nasty towards the other girls because they're their friendship wasn't based off of anything really solid besides the nastiness. So now that uh, Gina's back in the competition, she's like happy to see Rio, who I've always felt like Rio kept her as a flunky. And I said in my previous reviews, it bothered me because Gina seems more bookable to me than Rio. So I was just like, if anybody would be the top dog, it would be you in that relationship. But it just always bothered me how Gina just never really, or how she always just took the low you know, road towards Gio, uh, towards Rio and not like, girl, I I'm the one who's sitting on pretty, not you. So it just, their relationship was always really weird to me. And I feel like Gina is now seeing her status in the relationship because she's excited to be back and see her friend. And Rio is just like, I'm not even trying to connect with you right now because I'm focused on getting you out of the competition because you are my competition, which also makes me wonder if Rio was playing her the whole time time like being friends with her because she knew she was her competition to you know figure out where she was at 
so that she can always be one step ahead of Gina. Because remember, Sandra was her biggest competition and Rio would just attack her at any given moment to get in that girl's mind. And she actually did a good job because Sandra's no longer in the competition. Because let's be real, Sandra's not coming back. She needs work. With Tyra Banks back, they have really, like I say it all the time, I think, they have really done a good job with the budget because the designers that they have been able to get I am very impressed like Kymen, her garments that she made for like celebrities, but not just the, the celebrity garments, the garments that she made for this photo shoot, gorgeous, gagging. There was um, a, a, um, a dark skin, like really thin model and like this um, iridescent white number with a high neck, gagging baby. Yeah, Rio is the first one down. I'm sorry, I, I said photo shoot earlier. I meant runway challenge. So she's the first one down the runway and her walk is terrible, right? But I feel bad for her because I, it doesn't seem like they gave them time to like train in this bubble before she actually walked down the runway. And if that's her first time walking in that bubble down that skinny runway, which is set up for one of them to fall because it's good TV, then I think that she did a great job because who wouldn't walk like that if you've never done that before and you're walking down this runway that is not big enough for two feet. You literally have to put one foot in front of the other to get down that runway. So I think it's unfair. That's why I hate this challenge because I, I think it's just set up for all of them to fail. However, Gina was looking at Rio and she was like, oh, I can do better than that. That, sis you better kill it I think she is though she has her mindset on coming back and I think that she just may do it oh gosh Cora I hope your head is in a game <laughs> oh Cora's not coming back and although she looked sickening her walk was like girl oh, Cora what do we have to do sis what do we have to do? You have it. You are built for this. I just need you to get your head oh. in the game. My girl, Christiana, well, our girl, because we love her here. She is struggling, but I feel like she's been doing so well. I don't think they'll take her spot. They better not. They better not Shangela her, not on this show. So I feel like she's safe. But Christina, they said that she was doing a really good job when she was walking down the runway. I didn't see it. She looked like a toddler, like having a temper tantrum in Ikea. It didn't make sense to me that walk. Shanice was worried about her walk, but I think she did really, really good. Like I didn't mind it. I felt like it was safe, but I'd rather her be safe than actually fall into them balls. Kyla did really good, but I feel like she had a a dis a, an advantage because she's tall and she's very slim and so her feet are probably like long and skinny and I don't think she really had a problem but Miss Erin came to get back in that house because her walk she actually had a real walk it wasn't safe it was good I think she did the best walk out of everybody there Cora didn't come back they picked Liberty over Cora. I know her walk was terrible, but it's Cora. <laughs> oh. oh, man. And I wish I could have something to go off and be like she was cheated, but she struggled down that runway. Liberty, you know, she struggled, but I guess not as much as Cora. I don't know, but I don't think that Liberty is coming back. I think the two people who might be coming back are Christina or Gina. Or maybe Aaron if they want to like mix it up a bit. So I don't know. I feel like at this point it's probably between Christina, no, Gina and Aaron. That's my two, but I'm not sure. Oh guys, I'm so hurt. I wanted Cora to come back. She looks great. Maybe she's just a print model. I don't know. I don't know, Cora. We, we got to help you because you could be making bank. <sighs> so the girls are back in the house. The four temporary girls, which are Aaron, Liberty... There's another, who's the other four? Christina. Wasn't there one more? Was there four temporary girls? Erin, Liberty, Christina, and Gina. Oh, sorry, Gina. Oh, I was just about to talk about her, Gina. And I feel, I'm starting to feel bad for Gina because Rio is just, you know, icing her out because she's our biggest competition. And I just, I don't know. I feel bad for her because she goes to this whole thing that I, I was always an outsider, but honey, you can't align yourself with terrible people and think that they're gonna be good to you. That's just not real, showed you who she was, but because she wasn't doing it to you, you didn't think that it would ever flip back and come back on you and now it's on you. And you see how those other people felt when you were laughing at Rio being just terrible. When you, and you were also being awful yourself, but I don't know. I just feel bad for her. I hope this break of Gina and Rio um, allows her to really 
form real relationships with good people in the house. I would love to see Gina and Christiana get along because I think that Christiana is a really warm person and I think that that's somebody that Gina needs in her life. And also Chris, um, Gina and Shanice, they are very similar in a lot of ways. And I think because they are both thinking that they have nothing in common and they're looking at each other as like mortal enemies instead of just saying we have a lot in co more in common than we actually think. I think that could be a good relationship too, but it's really up to them if they want to do it. So I kind of feel like Rio thinks that she got this position in like a fluke. You know what I mean? Like I feel like she's happy that she's a final four and all those other girls left because now that the four girls have come back, she's extremely intimidated and scared. And I'm just like, if you've worked hard, like her and Shanice were saying, they work hard, they busted their behinds, they should be here. If you worked hard and you are Miss I'm Never, um, I'm Never Concerned because I'm doing good, why are you worried about four other girls that were eliminated? If you believe that you should be where you're at, maybe you don't believe that you should be there. Maybe you don't believe that you worked as hard or you deserve it over other girls. Because if you are secure and you know that you have killed it this entire time, why are four girls that you beat who have, who have, who are temporarily in the house, why are they intimidating you? And I'm sick of Shanice jumping into this conversation with her like, Shanice, listen, we are all rooting for you and you have done so well. You got to stop the not the shanasty. That nasty part really turns off people who are rooting for you and want you in this position. But I think that's just with growing up and getting out of her environment and being around, um, you know, people who have come from that, who have made it and who will be able to mentor her in how to conduct herself because you I just got to be real with you guys and I've always have been. When you are a person of color and especially when you are a person of color who is a woman, especially when you are a black woman, there is a fine line that you have to walk and you cannot go in there with that brown skin, okay? And that um th those hood mannerisms and be talking any kind of way to these to these people, mainly white mainly white people because um, you know, a lot of the fashion houses are owned by white people. And so they hire people who look like them because that's all they are aware, aware of. So you're going into these spaces with people who, some who don't even think that you really deserve to be there or should be there, or probably pushing a diversity thing is just saying, oh, I gotta put this person in here. So you gotta walk a fine line because they're not really searching you out. You know what I mean? So you probably got into that position because you were one of a you know billion black girls who were good, but you also have to realize you're going up against people who are just regular because white models are more in demand than you. So you just have to work a little cautiously and you can't be clapping back and just being nasty and think that doors are gonna open up for you because you don't have that privilege, sweetie. And that's just the way it is for now. You know what I mean? Keep on working, keep on getting in those spaces you know what I mean get to a level where you are killing it and do like Naomi Campbell was doing who was opening up doors for black models because she knows how hard it was for her and she saw the discrimination and now that she is at the top of her game she is opening doors that should have been open for her that's all I'm saying like I love Shanice we have been rooting for her from the from the beginning but we live in a racist nation and you cannot walk around like you are a part of the one percent when you are not you know how this game goes and i'm not trying to tell her to pull a tyra banks and do baby i'm just saying be smart you know what i'm saying don't go in there all cocky and nasty and think that you are going to be given a second chance because you're a good kid no nah, that only works for influenza white children that don't work for you so you have to be smart about the moves you make. That's all I'm saying, sis. If you're gonna stay in this industry, be smart because there are already people who look at the way you look and who look at your mannerisms and have already prejudged you and are already saying that they don't want you in the room. So they're waiting for you to make a mistake to get you out. I've been there, still am. Listen, listen, don't do that baby stuff. That ain't smart. That, that's stupid, but just be smart about how you handle yourself in rooms where you are the minority. That's all I'm saying. Do y'all get it? Let me know if y'all get it. If y'all need me to explain it a bit more, I will in the comment section below, but um, I'm just, 
I see Shanice and I see that she has a really great opportunity and I, uh, I see that attitude coming up that is very familiar, familiar that I understand that I could rock with, but I'm just saying you are in, you are on a network and you are in a space where you are the minority. So you have to walk a thin line because that is just how it is for now. So I'm just, I'm just trying to, I just wanted to be smart. That's Poor Christiana. I mean, she has just been a light in the darkness with these models. Because we cut to a scene of her in the confessional with Rio, who is going berserk about four girls who she beat out coming back. And it's just weird to me because if I know that I'm sickening, I would not be shook by girls that I sent home. And I just feel like maybe she doesn't believe that. And I think I'm right about that. I think she doesn't believe that she should be there or that, you know, she is this top model that she puts on. And I think uh, Gina's presence is making her go berserk. And I think you guys, I think Gina might be replacing Rio. Because if she doesn't, they miss a great opportunity for some good ratings, okay? And some viral clips. So we get another comeback challenge, and that is the uh, spider challenge with jewelry that Eva, who won, I think, America's Next Top Model the third season, who won that season and made this challenge, like, so famous. And I, I have to, and I, maybe I'm in the minority here, Eva is beautiful, right? However, I feel like if Eva didn't have those beautiful hazel eyes. I don't know if that picture would have been as iconic cause she can model. The girl, no, she gives space, but I'm just, I've always felt like another model was cheated because she didn't have hazel eyes. Because if you look at that picture, you are just zoned into her eyes and then you go to the jewelry and then maybe you'll see the tarantula. And she is serving face, but I just felt like, uh, if another light eyed model was there, they probably would be neck and neck. So that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that her eyes won her that? Because her, listen, the picture is sickening. I ain't taking that away from her. But those hazel eyes, and you know how we feel about light features in America. <laughs> Nigel! 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 Nigel is back! Tyra! Listen, I love these judges. I love Law Roach. Drew, uh, uh, you know, because I'm still hurt with how he read Shanice. I like Ashley. I think she's adorable. I want the old judges back. I want the Jays. I, I want them together. I want Miss J and I want Mr. J. I want Nigel back. I think we could, um... We could bring back maybe Law and have him replace Janice Dick Dickerson or like the mean judge. I would want that set up. I really, really would. And then we can bring in Drew for the challenges because I love when he does his magazine shoots aside from the last one because that, do you know what a Louboutin is? And uh, he needs to work on that. But bring him back for challenges and things of that nature. And maybe have Ashley be like coaching the girls. Um, and I want Stacey on the panel as well. My ideal America's Next Top Model would, of course, be Tyra being the, you know, HBIC, right? Or the HMIC. Yeah, the HMIC. <laughs> it's like, going on, man. Um, but, you know, HMIC, I would love for her to just, you know, lead this out like she always has been. And she's doing it flawlessly this season. But I would want Nigel back. I want him on the panel. I want the Jays back on the panel. I want Stacey on the panel. I want Law Roach on the panel. Um, yeah, and I would like to have Ashley just mentoring the girls and Drew just popping up for challenges. That is ideal because this is the thing. It's not taking anything away from Ashley or Drew. But the thing is, they didn't build this. And that's why America's Next Top Model suffered last season because that that dynamic, that crew together worked so well. Of course, we were tuning into the models, but we were more or less tuning into the judges who were so entertaining. And I just don't get an entertainment factor from these judges. And it's not that they're not giving it right. The thing is, the judges who did it before just gave it so much better. They have big shoes to fill. So you're always going to see those former judges when you're looking at this judging panel, you're always going to compare the two because one was just monumental. You know what I mean? That first, that first season, that cast, monumental. And I feel like when she broke away from that, she kind of lost a few people. Like she lost me. I left up after you know the old team left because I just, I, it did, I was tuning in. It wasn't feeling right. They were bringing in guys, and it just got weird. And you know, I'm coming back. 
because I feel like we're gonna maybe get a comeback. I'm hoping, I really, really am, that I hope she just, you know, goes back to what works. And can I just say, daddy is still fine. Work, Nigel. Is that appropriate to call a married man daddy? That is, I, I rebuke that, I rebuke that. Nigel is still very handsome. My mother raised me better than that. So the ladies are posy in teams, and I'm not gonna mention all the teams. I just wanna say that uh, the producers are messy for putting Gina and Rio together. <laughs> You saw that little feud boiling and you said, let's take it up a notch. Oh, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. Let's keep watching. So uh, Erin ain't coming back because when it's her time to do her photo, she's crying because the um, spider's on her neck. You gave birth to four children. And you scared of a spider? Mother, you can do so many things, like give life. This spider should be a drop in the bucket. And I'm saying that as somebody who don't have a spider on her, so I can't, you know, my, my opinions don't really weigh much. I don't know if I would be crying, but I feel like if I was hungry enough, I probably wouldn't because this industry have you doing worse things. I didn't, you know, I'm not talking about the casting couch. I'm saying, ah! Team Chrissy Attica, she was like, listen, I got my sh shot in. I still have to sit here with this spider because Aaron is falling apart. I'd be pissed too. Even if I loved Aaron, I would be pissed because she's scared of spiders as well. It's just it's just a conditioning thing. I don't know. We're, we're just raised to be afraid of spiders. So I get it, right? I really, really do understand Aaron being scared, but it's just like you're in a team with somebody else and you falling behind is pulling her behind. And in a photo shoot, they take a really long time. We only see a couple of clips of how these photo shoots work and you're thinking they got like 15 minutes. Oh no, they, they're they there for a minute trying to get a good shot. So Christiana and Aaron probably have a spider on them for about one to two hours. Like that's how long it takes to get a really good shot. Especially with three people, chow. You gotta add 30 minutes for each model. If not more. Okay, I was a little hard on Erin because I just watched the rest of her scene and the spider was on her face. <gasps> you know what? Yeah, girl. Cry. Get it out. So Rio is just coming for Gina, calling her fake, saying she's annoyed with her. And I'm just starting to feel like they were never really friends for Rio. You know what I mean? I feel like Gina thought that they were really good friends. But I felt like Rio was holding her close, like I said before. I feel like she was holding her close because she has admitted that she is her biggest competition. So she wanted to stay one step ahead of her. And how do you say ahead of your enemy? Act like you're act like you're their friend so you can know their every step. And they don't even know that you're watching them or studying them. Keep your friends close and your enemies what? Closer. So it seems like from what I've been saying that Shanice is the one that's going to be replaced and I think she's going to be replaced with Gina. Oh, because Rio didn't seem like she was doing as bad as Shanice. You know, Rio didn't really show her fear or, you know, give off any kind of weakness. And I think when Drew starts to smell that, he starts circling like a shark and is ready to cut somebody out, you know, just get nasty and snippy. Because even he said, oh, Shanice didn't give me her best. Maybe it's time for her to go home. You ain't say that about no other model who was sitting up there crying and having a whole fit. So we're at judging panel and the first photos to go are uh, Shanice's photo and Christina's. And Christina did a really good job. She really, really did. And even Law said it. He was like, you came back to get in this competition. Like you did not come to play. She did not have an attitude. She was very quiet. Even when she got back in the house and Rio was being nasty, Christina did not clap back. You know what I mean? She really realized that her attitude got her out of the competition and she was not going to let that stop her. So when she was at the hotel, she got herself together and she came back in this competition and she came to play. I don't think the photo was good enough to get her in, but this, this is the first one I've seen, so we will see. At this point, I feel like it may be Gina's because I was watching her pose and I just thought she did a sickening job, especially when that spider was sitting on her bald head and she was smizing. Gina coming back. Watch. Yes, Shanice didn't do well and I don't like making excuses for her. I just feel like they are so tough on her for just... Some like I feel like when they should be tough on her, they're not. And then like at her weak and fragile moments, they just decide to like beat her down. It doesn't make any sense. Like the girl said I was scared, like and I was trying my best to pose, but I was afraid. And I get, you know, snap it, snap out of it, fake it till you make it, but I just feel like at on this challenge where almost all of the models were crying because you were having them face their worst fear without a check. And I just didn't think that it was fair to come 
that harshly down on Shanice when there have been other times where you've praised her for the exact same foolishness. I just don't know, like this season and last season, I just feel like the judges are just not clear sometimes. And I feel like they, their critiques, although they're good, I don't think they're consistent with the models. And it just seems to me like they're confusing them. They're telling them that they're great one week and they're not giving them any critiques, even though we the viewers are watching and are like, you should have said something about that walk then. And I just, and then they get in front of them and it's like, you know, after two or three episodes, it's like, oh, you need to change all of this or you're going to be in the bottom two. Why didn't you say it when you saw it the first time? We saw it. How did you not see it? The professionals. <sighs> Mother is a savage. Gina is coming back. Her picture. I was not even looking at Eva. I was looking at Gina. You would have never known that she was terrified. And I don't think that she was putting it on. I do think that they were all really terrified. We're conditioned, especially as women, to be afraid of spiders. So I don't, I don't think that she was putting it on. I think that Rio was just being jealous, awful Rio, and just trying to point that out to make it seem like she's faking something. I think that she really wanted to be back in this competition and she put her fear aside and she slayed this photo shoot because she wants it more that's just it Kyla and Liberty um Liberty was okay like I don't feel like she is high fashion I don't I think that she is very commercial print and even I think it was law who said that she photographs very rich and wealthy I could see her marrying wealthy marrying a very wealthy Republican in Dallas and being the face of like you know Dallas town magazine something like that she could sell like she could sell diamonds to wealthy people that ain't bad but i just don't think that she is she has the international power to sell in multiple markets and that's what you want in a model you want a model that could sell anywhere or you want a model that can do um sell in a very successful market and yes uh the wealthy market is you know what wealthy people have their own little market that's great you can make money there but you can make more money being more bookable because nobody is really making money off the Beverly Hills magazine besides the editors. You know what I mean? The models ain't making that much money because nobody, they're like pamphlets. To be quite honest with you, those little rich magazines, you order them because you want to do a favor for one of your little rich friends so your kid can get a recommendation from him to go to Harvard. You're not really, you know, flipping through that magazine like you're flipping through Vogue. Even those rich girls who get on the cover of like Beverly Hills or Dallas, what are all the rich areas? I'm hood. Um, Manhattan West magazine. Is there a Manhattan? I should know. <laughs> you know, those magazines, they want to get on the cover of Vogue because ain't nobody relevant, no shade, really looking at those kind of magazines. But I feel like that's Liberty's wheelhouse. And you know, girl, work the market till you marry wealthy, because you will. Liberty's going to marry rich. She's either going to marry rich, like upper crust, you know, East Coast rich, or she's going to marry like some rich guy who hunts giraffes you know after he leaves the back waters of the Appalachian you know something like that she's like she's I feel like she's gonna marry like a wealthy you know southern guy you know staunch conservative and I think if you follow her on Facebook her posts are going to get even more bizarre <laughs> as time goes on <laughs> yeah I'm telling you I've been clock liberty or if she stays in LA and pursues acting, she's probably gonna get turned out by some butch looking lesbian and surprise us all, who knows? So, Christiana and Aaron go, and uh, Drew is very harsh on Christiana. He says that if he saw that picture, he would throw it in the trash, and I don't think it's fair. I feel like she had to, she had a really long session because Aaron couldn't get it together. She was also afraid of the spider as well. And, and if we're being real, they photoshopped the mess out of her picture. Her boobs are not even like aligned. Her cheeks are not aligned. I think she is a victim of working with a terrible partner and also a victim of poor Photoshop. And they do that a lot in these pictures. They they have like somebody in, you know, second year of film school photoshopping these pictures. And I'm just like, no, y'all need to start paying people who are really who really work in this to Photoshop your photos because a lot of them sometimes look very um face tuned. Listen, 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 listen. Like I said before, I have been rooting for Shanice since day one. But I gotta be real with y'all. 
I don't think she performed better than Rio. Rio got a bad attitude. She's awful. I feel like she's a produced villain. I get it. But her picture was so much better than Shanice's picture. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like Shangela. <laughs> I'm feeling like RuPaul's Drag Race all over again. I feel like uh, All Stars out there. I don't know. This 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 didn't seem fair to me. This didn't seem fair. Rio's attitude aside, she took a much better picture than Shanice. Wow. You know what? After I watch this episode, I'm definitely going to have to go to Twitter and like Tyra Banks' Instagram and figure out what just happened because that didn't seem fair. That did not seem fair at all to me. And I, I like Shanice more than I like Rio from this show. I don't know them in person, but I just feel like I'm, 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 my heart goes more towards uh, Shanice. Oh man, wow, y'all. Wow. I'm Christiana right now. Like <laughs> I was like, Rio is going home to Shanice. That, if that ain't an ego killer, I don't know what is. Rio may think that she is the baddest model that ever walked in America's Next Top Model, but the fact that she went home, like, over Shanice, that had to check her ego like nothing else. And if that's why Tyra Banks did that, smart. Because the thing is, like I said before, you can't be a person of color. You can't be a black woman in this industry and working with that kind of attitude. You won't get booked because there are forces already not wanting to book you anyway. Okay, so whoo, whoo, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. I kind of agree with Tyra saying the reason why Shanice stayed is because she's seen growth. Because to be quite honest with you, Shanice has done the most growth. Um, I understand that. But um, I just I just still think it's unfair that Rio went home over her. I also realize this is a TV show, so it's uh, best to keep, you know, Shanice in the competition because she's spicy. You know what I mean? Like she will, she's honest. She's not yet filtered. So I get it. I get everything going on behind the scenes to make this a show. But man, am I shocked. And you know what? Having thought about it a bit more, um, Rio showed all that she could do. You know what I mean? I feel like Rio has always been, um, you know, I feel like she showed us all her cards, maybe. Maybe that's why they let her go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rash. I'm trying to figure this out because I'm still shocked. What? So Rio gets cut and Gina takes her place. Oh, you producers are shady boo. You know what, Rio? I feel like anybody trying to go on a reality TV, I think you should watch this season and, and watch how Rio was played. Because I do think that whatever Rio was dealing with and how she deals with competition and her insecurities, I do think that played into how she was filmed. But I still feel like her being the villain was produced. I feel, cause it just came out of nowhere guys, you know what I mean? And if she was this nasty, they would have filmed it from the beginning. I feel like it was her storyline, you know, her produced storyline of her being the villain. And I felt like she went into that because she thought that maybe she was special with the producers and that she would stay longer in this competition, which is why at times she was very, very confident because she was playing her role. And look at Rio now. You see what I'm saying? So if you're coming into reality TV, be smart about your decisions. Do not allow yourself to get played because in the end, you might think that you're doing something where you are the producer's, you know, the apple of the producer's eye when you are really just their pet. Wow. Um, to be honest, Rio's exit was a lot sweeter than I thought she would be because she was saying that she would go off or whatever. Um, I feel bad for her. I do. Like, she's right. She worked to be the final four and then, you know, you get to the final four and then somebody gets to come back. I get um, how she's feeling, but it's TV show, sis. It's not like the real modeling industry. It, the modeling industry is uh, more vicious. So, you know, it, you know, you got to take, take this all with a grain of salt. But, you know, she seemed like she's going to keep on pushing. I checked her Instagram. She's still modeling, so... You got done dirty though, girl. You got done real dirty. So that's where it ends. Next week is gonna be a lot of tears, but who didn't expect that? They all have like breakdowns when they get so close to the end. I don't know if there's gonna be another episode after that, if we're gonna get like 
elimination of the final four and then we'll just have three left for the next season or if that's just going to be the season finale i feel like if it was they would have mentioned it i don't know but i will be here next week if you like what you see here please like comment subscribe and share and i will see you for the following episode of america's next top model oh before i forget let me know what you think about this episode in the comments section below because after I upload this, please believe I'm going in the comments sections because we need to talk about this real elimination. Gagging, okay? See you then. Bye, guys.